Lord knows I love you, Molly, Molly Brown. What we've learned at the New Play Summit, and I, I think that what we've learned is that you can take a chestnut of a musical that nobody thinks works anymore yeah. and reinvent it yeah. and tell the true story of a really inspiring, wonderful woman yeah. and tell it in a way that honors the original yeah. and then brings her to life for a whole new generation of people and, and really honors who she was. Excellent. I'm just going to turn the camera over here on Mark. Hi. Hi. Hey. We haven't even met yet. <laughs> I'm Mark. Hi, Mark. How are you? <laughs> it's really nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you, too. Yeah. What were the benefits sort of of being able to come to Denver and do it sort of in the town that Molly Brown is from? The great thing about Denver is is it's a really big city. It's 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 a wonderful city and yet, at least for us, it sort of feels a little isolated given, you know, um, our megalopolis. Yeah. And it it's I think given us the opportunity to, to really sort of explore it under a really great safety net and yeah. feel the freedom to explore yeah. and to fall down and get up yeah. without being under such a watchful um, even gossipy at times, I, mm -hmm. you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any creative process like this needs the room to breathe, and mm -hmm. Denver's got plenty of air. Yeah. And um, it, it's, some, it's really... Some people no, say not enough. We're no, so but high it's such a great, and it's such a great <laughs> town. I mean, we felt so welcome here, mm -hmm. and, and the whole summit is such a great program. And yeah, Theater's I mean, amazing. We've been yeah. so well taken care of. It's, yeah. it's been like a vacation in some ways compared to what the work process can be in a lot of different ways, and so it's been a real joy. Yeah. You, you, do you get a sense now at, that you've been through the process about what the potential for this work is as a probably as a Broadway revival? We hope it goes. Hope yeah. it goes. Well, you yeah. know, what's great about it is it's an American story, but it's an every man's story, mm -hmm. and especially now where we are, you yeah. know, in our society and with yeah. where we are in, you know, government and economy and all of that. Yeah. It just seems really um, present day in just watching these do their best and try to overcome odds and yeah. especially Molly with you know and it's great like she said it to be far more historically accurate with the woman because it's far more interesting and far more theatrical yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah than what the original intent was and that this was a woman who truly was in the process of running for Congress when women can couldn't even vote <laughs> You know, and I just think that that's a very exciting yeah. thing to think about now, you yeah. know, especially that we have our first, you know, black president. I yeah. mean, we're at a time when this yeah. is very relevant. Well, it's interesting, too, because Colorado actually gave the vote to women before New York did. Yay, that's a, Colorado! That, that, I found out that yeah. we, we learned a lot about Leadville Johnny Brown that um, we didn't know before. But what, that's what is interesting about this process. That's what's been great, is yeah. learning who yeah. these people really were. Yeah. What do you think the primary thing about Molly that we learned from this version that people would be surprised if all they've seen before is the movie or the or the original Broadway musical? That she was truly as influential and forward moving as she was. Mm -hmm. That she really was on, on, on the forefront of, of social movements, women mm -hmm. voting, yeah. um, and, and health care. And she was just so present in the community in a yeah. way that women just weren't at that time. Yeah. And I think that that, that that says a lot about her. Yeah. In a way, it's kind of sad that she's most famous for being on a boat that sank. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. She yeah. did a whole lot more yeah. than that. I, I still feel a little bit of misgiving about, about Johnny, though, um, being sort of held responsible now for the Ludlow Massacre when... Oh. when did you know, and sometimes in theater when yeah. they, it far outlives sometimes history books sure. that people yeah. believe what they hear on the stage. Well, we're not calling it the they, Ludlow Massacre. Right. Yeah. We're yeah. just saying that it's an inspired by true events. But he didn't kill a little kid, though, did he? <laughs> no, but, I, but, but no, not at all. But yeah. but they did have a very a volatile, t you know, yeah. tumultuous relationship that yeah. was extremely didn't, loving. And he yeah. didn't want his men to unionize. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll, I guess we'll see you in New York. I hope so. <laughs> Thank you. But the wonderful thing about the Play Summit here is, first of all, giving us the facility to really work and really work in a sort of concentrated way, and also to put in, us in front of a, a real audience um, a, that will be honestly responsive and not yeah. just a sort of industry audience. Yeah. Dick, would you like to... Well, I, I think that we had an opportunity to uh, leave New York, and so mm -hmm. our actors didn't have all of the distractions. They have lives, mm -hmm. as does Michael and Kathleen and myself. Yeah. You know, when we leave rehearsal in yeah. New York, we have animals to take care of and children <laughs> to take care yeah. of and other responsibilities. Yeah. When we're here, all of our focus is on this. And I yeah. think the other thing it did was by being here in Denver, 
the cast and the, the production team became very aware that this really was a person. Yeah. And they're inv I think it changed all of our investment to the story, and it deepened yeah. it, I should say. And, and in a way that doing it in New York, we wouldn't have that opportunity because yeah. that's, yeah. that's you know, we don't have a Molly Brown house in New York City. Right, right. right. And I'm sure you learned a lot about the score and where it's at now. Uh, after oh, yes. <laughs> it's been qu quite a journey. But, but to add to that, certainly to, to get out of New York City and to be able to have people to focus just on the piece itself and not worry about the outside yeah. things that you have to do in life yeah. and auditions and all of that. Um, the structure, the amazing support here, that's one thing that back in New York, it's, it's incredible how yeah. well run this is. Yeah. I mean, literally, yeah, yeah. just to get music stands in other yeah. situations is a tough thing. <laughs> yeah. it just was, it, yeah. It's just clockwork. It's, yeah. it's really amazing. Did you learn anything about what the next step is and what the potential for the project is? I mean, and some people have talked about these shows getting put on the Denver Center season. You I think other people are talking about Broadway, so. We don't know. Well, those, those aren't mutually exclusive. Yeah. yeah. Broadway and the yeah. Denver Center, right? right. We, um, you know, we don't have a commercial producer on board yet, and quite honestly, um, it depends on who our suitor is. <laughs> and, um, you know, and uh, who asks us to dance and yeah. and when where that dance is. We would yeah. absolutely love to, to bring this production yeah. um, back here at some point. Yeah. A sweet